the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Do you realize that one time Jesus wanted to pray for a blind person? He took him out of one city into another before praying for him. Jesus. I'm at liberty to share these things because this is a prophetic church. Your man of God is a prophet. You understand? I will not share this thing in every cycle because sometimes people will think we're just talking a lot of nonsense. But believe me, if you call what I'm saying nonsense, I wish you good luck. In this wicked world, this cruel world that ignorance is, you pay with your lifetime. This is the mystery behind the results of people. Now, nobody will be honest enough to open up like this and tell you that behind the results you see there are mysteries. You just see people rising and here's what we say, you are lucky. I'm demystifying that mystery called luck that there are altars, there are support systems that lift people. That's why they don't fear what people do because they know what is backing them. Hallelujah. Open eyes that you can see. Open eyes for your finances. Open eyes for everything around your life. I want you to be tired of the realm you are now. I want you to be tired of struggling. Tired of having to meet people to lobby your way in. And no, 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 no. There are superior systems. Hallelujah. This is one of my dear people. He's a military officer. One time they sent him to Maiduguri where they were fighting with Boko Haram. And they almost killed this my dear son for me. I said, Lord, I thank you for the military people who are fighting. But please, I ask you, take this my son out of that place. We still need him for a long time. And that's why they carried him. I think he's in Lagos now. So. And he still comes to serve in the media every time. This is a military man. Because even though even though he's fighting he knows the altar and the grace that supports him listen believers let's be wise the days are evil the days are evil let us sustain spiritual intelligence no music artist in nigeria rises sustainably without being connected to a solid altar it is true otherwise a day will come songs will not come again a territory will squeeze you like an orange for over six months inviting you every day to every meeting after six or seven months they will spit you out and that's the end of your career but there are people who remain ever fresh the secret i tell you you look at them is not necessarily their skill or prowess alone they are tied to something that is ancient you don't find the root on earth you only find the body the root is in the realm of the spirit it does not die is god speaking to us we are going to pray i know that our time is gone but we'll pray before i begin to minister ah this morning god will surprise you all that that you left your house and came here no 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 he never calls the seed of jacob to seek him in vain and let me tell you this let me tell you this if the next few minutes you open your heart you will be surprised what god will do in your life men are made in the night not in the day the day is for manifestation the night is for making according to god's protocol is the evening and the morning the morning does not start a day if your day starts in the morning it's already too late 
both conception and delivery happens in the morning in the night listen while you are seated i like you to be i'm provoking you be tired of where you are and say lord i thank you you have blessed me but this is not it this is not it for my children this is not it for my destiny i thought things would change in 2016 i thought things would change in 2017 but lord this year of open doors maybe someone should jump up on his feet and begin to walk around this auditorium prophetically walk around this auditorium it's time for me to move in the name of jesus christ this word instrumental is just helping someone is walking around and prophesying don't just walk around looking please prophesy i refuse to be in the same position i refuse to be in the same position by the power of the holy ghost Someone is praying in the name of Jesus. the lord please do me a favor if you can if there is no space that's all right but please pair yourselves into three we are going to pray the bible says a threefold cord we want to invoke mysteries in this place and pray please pair yourselves into three if there is no space just do two two pair yourselves into three let's pray so that things will shift and change in our lives listen in the next five to ten minutes you are going to hold the hands of these people while you pray this is going to be the prayer lord every grace and covenant that is hidden on the person that i'm holding i draw that grace to honor lift your voice and pray someone you may be holding your brother but pray outside are you praying and hold another person's hand change and hold somebody's hand don't, don't we lay the man of god please make sure are you ready you are still going to pray the same prayer please these are prophetic instructions i tell you you are not wasting your time believe me a threefold cord 
that cannot be easily broken you're going to lift your voice again lord what have you planted in this man what have you planted in this woman what altar of the spirit sponsors their possibility i call it to honor lift your voice and answer that you brought up In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to lay your hands on your eyes. And you are going to say the door of my eyes. You are also the door of my destiny. In the name of Jesus be open. Let me see. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shut up. 
Hallelujah. The last prayer point, then we'll begin to minister. The head of a man is the symbol of your glory. It is true. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn and I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Please listen to me. It is true that what is on your head determines what is on your cup. You are going to lay your hands on your head and cast away every negative atmosphere and every programming whether it is of ancestry whether it's of bloodline have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation and i decree and declare may my head be lifted up he said listen to me he says thou O lord art a shield for me some three my glory he says the lifter up of my head you're going to prophesy my head my destiny rise up rise up from the ashes rise up from the grave someone is praying someone is give us one more prayer point in John 11 when it was time to bring Lazarus out of the grave he said roll away the stone when it was time for Jesus to come out of the grave the angel came and rolled away the stone you are going to roll away every stone listen there are people the truth is you are standing physically but spiritually there is a door that has closed your destiny you are going to pray listen pray like a prophet pray like a priest that in the name of jesus that every stone that covers my glory my family our name our relevance we roll you away by the spirit of god it's time for lazarus to go forth someone is praying pray for your family pray for your relatives
tell you things are shifting in this place yes yes can i give you one more prayer point father everything tying me down he said lose that man and let him go the stone can be rolled away but your past is still holding you the stone can be rolled away but yesterday is still holding you refusing that you will not enter tomorrow everything in my yesterday that is refusing me from entering tomorrow whether it is your past whether it is your failures let me know i cut away from you lift your voice and pray hallelujah you can't believe that it's already morning we just have a few more minutes and the vigil is over but listen listen to me there are times in a man's destiny that you must be very serious with your life and insist you know the challenge with many believers is we are not yet serious enough one thing i know with the devil is he respects seriousness take it from me when there is a level of fire and seriousness you apply to your destiny he said resist the devil and he will flee not he may flee if he's not fleeing the resistance is not strong enough hallelujah we are going to pray did you bring your prayer request Sir, is, is it right? okay please return back to your seat if you've not written your prayer request we'll give you five minutes please write it because i'm about to minister now inside outside those following online from whatever nation you can write and send your request please do it very quickly we're about to pray everything you are tired of seeing that must let you go please write it down nobody's reading it right here it will be prayed for and then it will be burnt away so you don't have to be afraid that people will read your request you don't have to write your name you just write what it is some of you may need to call your loved ones and say what what are we tired of in this family that must go I'm convinced that a vigil without prayer is a waste of time a vigil that you did not pray prophetically and strategically is a total waste of time the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word remains the principal tools for healing for deliverance for breakthrough this is a very deep and profound mystery what we are doing and is biblical once upon a time three kings came together to threaten the people of god and they submitted the request on the altar go ahead write your requests 
the bible says to be anxious for nothing he says he says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving he says make your request known don't assume it is known make your request known please write it down and in case your faith did not allow you to write some things write it again no because sometimes we can be used to pain and long-standing issues that we're even afraid to write them because we say can god make a way in the wilderness we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do what you do set our hearts on you come and do hallelujah now if you've written it please ushers ushers will go around you're just going to pass it they'll bring it before the altar here you can pass it to the last person maybe the person on the aisle can we do it that way maybe to make it easy or ushers just go around maybe just find a way of organizing yourself please make sure everyone's request is here just you can just submit it we are here for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and do come and do what you do set our hearts set our hearts to the ushers moving around there are ushers moving i don't know if there are ushers up there if they are here to collect yours you can just wave yours and somebody will please there are people waving there let's let's have their request. hallelujah thank you jesus oh my life is changing in the name of Jesus Your 
the same You've touched His grace Your life is changed You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life is changed You will never be the same You've touched His grace Hallelujah Now while you are dropping this I'd like you to begin to pray Where you are seated And declare that Lord these Egyptians that I see today I will see them no more forever Somebody is praying Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time These Egyptians that I see today I see them no more forever Do we have all the requests? Shalanda basta barusa siyakata kabrato siyata Standing in agreement with the altar of your father, Pastor Amos Fairwa. Just, just with here, you pack it back. So, let's... someone's life is about to change. A new season is about to open for someone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure we have everything here. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Someone help mama. She's trying to come with her request. Please somebody collect it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I will not trouble our father, but I will just stand praying so that his, his, his grace is here speaking but while you are there please stretch your hands here with faith believing and I want you to begin to blast in tongues while you are standing I'm going to go on my knees and cry to the God of heaven Will you open up the gates Open up the doors Will you open up the gates Open up the door. Please stretch your hands and pray.
Hallelujah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the angel of the Lord. Listen to me. I'm about to start ministering. I know that our time is gone. But the kind of testimonies that will come out from this request will surprise you. The Lord is asking me to stand on it. Listen. The moment I stand on it, the power of God is going to begin to touch people. Please, I want you to bring them out. It's an instruction that the Holy Ghost is giving to me. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me an instruction that the moment I stand on this and I stand on it in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this congregation. Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing that must open doors right now from the left to the right, the front to the back, may that place locate people now. Make that place now. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus Christ. going to sing a song for me let your power flow bring them out like a rope this is delay and i'm seeing the number 17 right now there are 17 people all over the congregation i stretch my hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on you now breaking delay bring them out I release that place. delay break now please bring them out now in the name of jesus the spirit of delay dying down people's lives be broken now Inside, outside, bring them out. showing me the hands of people tied i'm seeing hands that are tied i want to pray right now the power of god will come on those people some of these not just your hands that are tied it's even the hands of your family god will touch you for your family right now at the count of three one two three may that place break those chains right now break those chains oh my god my god my god
praying the Lord wants to break people free from covenants and yokes of darkness at the count of three you are going to shout that name Jesus there is a strong fire from this altar that will fall upon your life are you ready now please bring those people in the name of Jesus anyone's destiny here that has been tied by the orchestrations of witchcraft I come by the road of the higher priesthood in the name of Jesus at the count of three as you shout may that your be broken you will shout Jesus at the count of three one two three Jesus wearing green Stella who is that is there a woman called Stella what's your name ma you are a member of this church I want to pray for you because your life is about to change completely what I see God doing will surprise you ma can I pray for you who is Jonathan Jonathan I'm hearing a name Jonathan Jonathan you are wearing a white like a white cloth Jonathan who is that is there somebody like that break every chain break every chain break every chain what's your name please verify that they are not just coming out please don't just your name is Jonathan sir your name is John it's alright I will pray with you whose mother is in the teaching hospital there's someone your, your your mother also is in the teaching hospital sick i don't know who that person is but please come i want to pray when you find that person i want to pray for you in the name of jesus i want to pray for you i want to pray for you kemi who is that k-e-m-i kemi that's that's somebody's name please who is that quickly ma i want to pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god i truly see a very serious breakthrough why, why are they coming Look at what is happening to this woman. Look at this. Look at this. Look what is happening to this woman. I'm seeing something being loose from her. Leave her now. Look at look at the miracle happening right in your presence. My God. My dear, look at me. Shout Jesus. This girl. Tap her. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I declare that the reproach on your life and your family, let it come to an end now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I command that you go out of her life now. In the name of Jesus, out of her life see let me tell you please don't think we are wasting our time here god is rearranging destinies my dear the lord is saying i should prophesy to you remember not the former things this this young lady 
nor consider the things of old come the lord is asking me to lay my hands on you that things will turn around in your life in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus let this happen even by the spirit an end comes to oppression in your life in the name of jesus christ susan 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 i'm hearing the name susan who is susan you are susan Susan mama you are Susan from where from where are you is, I'm please help us. is this mic working huh I'm married to a kitty but I'm from Delta I want to pray for you can I rebuke the spirit of death over your family the power of God is going to come on someone now the Lord is averting death from your family is listen no 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 it's a specific person i want to bring the person out right now a strong anointing is going to fall on someone please bring the person that spirit of death i just saw like a dark shadow in the name of jesus the son of the living god i decree and declare that everyone and every family are pointed unto death by the spirit of the living god it is averted now when the power of God comes on that person, please pick the person and bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit. That man near the door, that man wearing red, tell him to lift his hands. That gentleman standing near the door tap him and tell him to lift his hand no the one wearing red tell him to lift his hands in the name of jesus i command the spirit of death out of his life and out of his family now in the name of jesus christ mama let me pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands to you and i pray the grave is a spirit it can call people you can hear it like someone is calling you but it is the grave i command in the name of jesus may your ears be shot towards the voice of the grave in the name of jesus for you and for your children and i declare you are free now and you are free forever Please don't be embarrassed there is the lord is showing me a woman here i know that generally there will be a lot of people but there is a woman here this is up to four five six like six years you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb who is that person i'm, I'm saying up to one two three four five six please come your time has come who is that Haribiti Arabata Enyatobiju Haribiti Please stand up Arabata Stand up Enyatobiju Please stand up Let me know I know some of you just came out It's not what I said But you still came out But God God will still touch you But I know some of you I hope you are all married Praise God. We have to be careful in the house of God over the things we pray for. Praise the Lord. Where is your husband? Oh. Please help us with the mic. Media, can, can you help us so that the mic works? My husband is at home. Where? Where is home? Maryland. Maryland. Yes. You're in Lagos here. Yes. Do you believe that if we pray for you, you will have a child. Yes. You will come and stand in this altar yes. and testify. Yes. Kai, the wonder working power of God is a marvel. The power of God is going to come on one of you. One of you here, right now. Now, out of her. Barrenness is a spirit it can hear. Out now! 
release their destiny release their fruitfulness it's over go and return with your children in the name of jesus christ i speak to you and i prophesy according to the time of life i don't care what the situation is in the name of jesus christ i speak to you by the power that raised christ from the dead standing on this altar of pastor amos Fenwa as the prophet of god i decree and declare you return with your child in the name of jesus my dear is your husband here because the lord is telling me he's here where is he please help us are the mics working call him where is he husband where? let's save time our time is, is do you call his name so that he will hurry up shola are you here sir okay someone has gone to call him there is a reason why i'm asking him to come i hope you're not embarrassed a few minutes and, and we'll be done what's your name susan i want to pray for you where are you from what do you have to do with anambra state my father is from there your father is from anambra state i want to pray for you that every altar that stands to destroy your destiny in the name of jesus i cause that altar now out now Sir, how long have you been trusting God for the foot of the womb? Huh? Six years. About six years. Do you believe the end has come? Yeah. Hold my hands. My friend, look at me. You believe in miracles? Huh? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, it's over. I needed to pray for him first. Yeah. Now, I see what is happening. I prayed for him. And the miracle happened to the wife you see the eyes to see it you must trust god for grace that simple instruction look at this this is to tell you that when people marry two really become one because i wanted to pray for her and the lord said no this is the man you will pray for and then this will please go you will return with your testimony I can't even remember why you are still. Kemi, all of you, why are you here? You know, sometimes this thing, okay. Do you do business? Huh? What do you do? I sell clothes and I run a training outfit. Ah! Madam, this is your year. You are going to make a lot of money. Amen. Is it your mother? I spoke about business and you ran out. Uh, you do business too. What do you do? Huh? Kitchen utensils. Kitchen. Kitchen utensils. Ah, okay. I will pray with you too. Eh? But, madam, can I pray with you? Don't forget God oh, as he lifts you. Because what I see happening to you, it will surprise you. June, July, August. There are strange months of breakthrough for you. I release that grace upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, it's over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. These are your children. Come. Who is this one? This Ola. My firstborn. Your firstborn. Where is she? Atiku Road. Pray for how? Huh? I will speak in parables. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please pray for her i am convinced that if you are born again and your association is not born again you are not born again i'm sorry but this is how you have to be born again enough to affect your association praise the lord so we have to be very careful so that sometimes we don't get ourselves mixed up into a lot of this nonsense that destroy god's people oh madam i pray for you may doors be open for you now in the name of jesus and for all of you here who are standing i want to pray for you august is your month of wedding who is that august come because I'm seeing something that can will create serious trouble. I must pray for. 
I'm not saying if you want to marry Augusto. Please understand what I'm saying. What? I'm seeing too many people. No, I'm not saying if you want to marry well. Are you married? Huh? August. No, I'm talking. I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't communicate it well. I meant you have fixed your wedding date and it is for August. Because some of the people I'm seeing here, you should not be. Is there someone like that? This is what I'm seeing. Please, if there's someone like that, I want to pray for that person now. You? Your wedding? When? August. It's been fixed. Is your pastor aware? Oh, you just agreed. Ah. I respect protocol oh, so that I don't come and bless. Make sure you meet. I will pray for you, eh? but this is this is the the, 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 the relevant committee who work on it. What, what's, what's happened to Mama? By August. That's right. They are getting married. Yeah. This is the wife and this is the husband. This is the wife, this is the husband. Which one is your child, Mama? Uh, my son, I mean, the boy. Okay. In the name of Jesus, we pray. There will be no accident. Yeah. Mama, what happened to you? What happened to you? I sick. I first sick. I went to Beria, 2018. You are a member of this church, Mama. Mm, my son is a member. I okay, okay. Member you went for church. burial, mm, and from after that, your leg just paralyzed. I first sick seriously. I'm the one that come out just now. Come and give the testimony that I nearly died. Say. Okay, she shared a testimony. Since you are already out, let me pray for you, Mama. No, don't worry. I will just pray for you. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Mama. Let the power of God heal you from this arthritis. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost completely set you free. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Now, I pray for every one of you for whatever reason in the name of jesus i decree and declare you will return with strange testimonies my sister look at me this lady lift your hands i'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit and i'm not seeing a face stand up i'm seeing a body but i'm not seeing a face i must rebuke bad luck from your life can i pray for you i hope you're not embarrassed hold my hands where are you coming from in the name of Jesus let this be over in your life now in Jesus name this fair lady you that come it's time for God to turn your family around please come I bless all of you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ everything that is not of God let it give way God bless you please you can return back to your seat I pray for you have I prayed for you in Jesus name I release you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ amen I want to pray for you where are you coming from my dear huh? Jonathan where are you from sir in the name of Jesus I release you and I open up doors for you in the name of Jesus I open up doors for you by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name. Where are you from, my dear? I'm coming from the coverage of the from Anambra State. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore the blessings of your family. Everything that represents shame and reproach, I come against it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for the sick? My God, our time is already gone. Let me use a few minutes to pray for the sick. If you are trusting God for healing any part of your body, um, you don't have to come out. Just, we may not have all that time. Where you are, just where you are. Don't worry. Right where you are, just lay your hands there. There are so many people trusting God, so we may not. She's already out. I'll pray with you, but 
in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost God bless you now I want to pray for the sick please believe in miracles I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just touch your chest and I will pray for you right now yes Lord yes Lord you are the king there is none other yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You are the King. There is none other. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please say Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead that every spirit responsible for every kind of infirmity in your body I cast that spirit out in the name of Jesus right now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus be healed right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now receive your healing right now from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now every lump in the breast area or any part of your body I command it to disappear now the power of God is touching people migraine headache be healed now Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Heart palpitations, be healed now. Every challenge with your bones, in the name of Jesus, I correct it now. Pile, no matter how long, be healed now in the name of Jesus. there's someone you have severe pain around your molars your teeth in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching that person right now touching that person right now we're going to take a few testimonies here in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you have excruciating stomach pain you've not been able to figure what the problem is month after month excruciating pain right now you're going to feel just like fire a warm sensation and that's the end of it i declare be healed now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there's someone i think because of your blood group you have um a lot of pains help them the power of god is coming on that person right now around your joints severe pains in the name of Jesus right now the power of God is touching you every problem with your eye in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I decree and declare be healed now any challenge with your ears in the name of Jesus I declare unto you be healed now by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone who eats and throws up what you are eating you are not exactly sick like your body but you eat and you just feel this irritation and then you throw it up in the name of Jesus I declare to you be healed now completely set free completely set free it looks like high near around your groin area but it brings severe pain and it has refused to go I don't know who that is but in the name of Jesus I'm declaring to you be healed right now there's someone just just around the area where you feel pain for appendicitis 
you've been feeling that pain this is up to two years now i'm praying for you by the power of the holy spirit be healed now supernatural healing in the name of jesus supernatural healing um my god you had a dream and it's like a dream or something from what i'm seeing and someone told you that they will put cancer on you in the name of jesus i don't know who that is i hope you know that these things you see most of these challenges are demonic in origin they really truly are i'm praying for you right now Bring the lady that shouts under the anointing. The power of God is coming on a lady now. I'm seeing a lady, not a man. It's a very loud shout. Please bring that person. I just want to prophesy over that person and rebuke this thing that I'm seeing. There is something in your stomach that God wants to remove out. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's, it's an instruction God is giving me, so please just be patient with me as that anointing comes upon that person please bring the person here right now i want to pray no that's not the person the power of god is going to come upon the person i will still pray but that's not the person this one i'm seeing in the realm of the spirit i was praying and the holy spirit just interrupted me it's a very strong anointing and it's just coming on someone right now you see when you are spiritual you have to be sensitive to the holy spirit we are here responding to what he wants not what we want and if you are not sensitive you can miss out on prophetic things for people's lives praise the lord i don't know why he does these things sometimes but we just are patient please just be sensitive the power of god will come on that person Bring her. Oh, we are ya, oh, we are ya, oh, we are ya, oh, we are ya, Yahweh. Jesus I decree and declare they will not tell you you have blood tubes in the name of Jesus I reject that evil report and I declare that everything that is not of the Christ in your life and in your body let it go now in the name of Jesus let it go now in the name of Jesus and now I pray for every other person whether I've mentioned your case or not I'm seeing a thermometer this is high blood pressure in the name of Jesus be free now in the name of Jesus be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that everything that is not of God planted in your body I command it to come out now in the name of Jesus I command it to come out now let me wrap up by speaking over your life now listen very carefully Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please let's read it together and the elders of the Jews build it and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo and they built it and finished it according to the commandment hallelujah now listen I want to speak to you because the Bible lets us know that we are built up like living stones and I want to speak over your life they prospered through the prophesying they prospered through the prophesying prophecy is powerful and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved
the prophetic ministry has largely been abused the prophetic ministry has been maybe tampered with the level of character and intelligence and balance may not have been quite there but it does not mean the prophetic ministry is not valid it is a ministry that is valid for all generations praise the lord can i speak over your life prophecy does not only reveal it creates it can make what has no business happening to happen in the name of jesus the son of the living god every closed door holy ghost christian center i pray for you that every door that has been closed towards you your business and your family i speak to that door be open now in the name of jesus be open now in the name of jesus be open now in the name of jesus i speak to every branch of this ministry scattered across the globe in the name of jesus the son of the living god and all the ministries connected to this grace whatever has shut the door towards your influence your impact i decree and declare those doors are open now i pray first over your spiritual life whatever has closed the door to hunger genuine passion for the things of god whatever has eroded your prayer life whatever has dampened your word study life so that you no longer have the hunger and the passion for the things of god in the name of jesus tonight may that door of desperation and hunger towards the things of god be open listen please hear me when a man is not serious with god that destiny is in trouble i don't care what you have i don't care what you have i don't care what you are if your hunger hunger is proof of health when people are sick the first thing that happens is they lose appetite i always continue to check my life i will cancel any meeting and cancel anything at all to restore my hunger for god my hunger for God and my passion for Him is greater than anything. Influence, name, whatever it is. Again, let me pray for you. Because you see, these are our lives. As we are busy, the vicissitudes of life, they have a way of stealing away little by little. Our hunger, you forget to pray, you forget to fast, you forget to study. You say, no problem, I will come back again. No, the heritage that we have received come from people whose hunger was sustained in the name of jesus the grace for genuine passion towards the things of god may that grace rest on your life i pray fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus number two i pray for you everything that closes your mind so that you are not unfruitful unto the things of righteousness that it stops you from accessing the truth and the riches of scripture in the name of jesus i open your understanding in the name of jesus i open your understanding spiritual illumination by the power of the holy ghost number three please stretch your hands towards me your hand is a symbol of your productivity i pray in the name of jesus the grace that makes what is on your hand multiply I release that grace upon you Holy Ghost Christian Center I prophesy that your five loaf and two fish I command it to feed five thousand in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hand in the name of Jesus Christ let's put it down I pray for you the Bible says everywhere the sole of your feet shall tread upon it is given unto you I bless your feet may it go to good places I bless your feet I take it away from trouble I take it away from pain I take it away from regret in the name of Jesus hear me anybody in your life now that is not a dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless Check our homepage for more of our messages. 
subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline grant